Hello YouTubers, can you see me there? Can you see me there with the Lauren Hardy? Yeah, you can see me at that, I think. Hello YouTubers, welcome back to another video at GDB Rescue and Recovery. So, today's video is going to be a little cheeky review on some magnetic trailer lights. So I know a lot of you always ask, you always comment about these lights, some of them scratch the paintwork, they all do this, they do that. Touch wood with me, I've never scratched a car on the back end. Reasons being, my trailer lights stay inside my vehicle underneath my seat on charge. Whereas if I stored them in the back of the vehicle or in the toolbox, then yes, you're going to pick up all sorts of fragments and that on the magnets. When it touches the car, it's going to get all bits on, you pull it off and it will scratch. So if you look after your lights in a good, clean place, Fine, no issues. However, these new Connex Plus trailer lights have got lots of good features, so I'm gonna do a little review on this for you today. Uh, one big one for me, it's got a new look. I've had my lights for years and years, it's a nice new look. Uh, it's obviously got the number plate light as well. Uh, battery life on full, you get five hours, which let's be honest, is a pretty damn good time. But also with this one, you do have a charge indicator. So it will tell you when your battery is starting to go low and it plugs into your cigarette lighter. So opening up the box like so. Dum -dum 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 -dum. And let's bring the little camera closer. So uh, very well packaged. So it says the range is 20 meters. That's what some of you will probably want to know in regards to using it on an Arctic lorry or truck and trailer combination. Um, it is a 12 volt system only. To my knowledge, I don't know of any 24 volt systems, but hey, somebody else might know. Standby time on these are 15 hours, which is absolutely brilliant. You have no complaints with that. That's obviously the manual. Now, uh, opening up these lights, you will see, you will see this. If I can take this one out of one hand. Uh, design, you know, is, it's good. It looks very strong. It looks, they look a lot better built than the other ones. Let me put that that way. You've obviously got the input charger there and obviously the power button on there. But also what a lot of you ask about the scratching and whatnot, these have got the rubber backing. So when they stick onto the vehicle, they they stick absolutely like no tomorrow, which I will show you on the next clip. And then to obviously take it off um, because they are so strong with the rubber, you just pull that away to create the air release. Um, is that the word, the air release? Something like that. And then basically they just come off. So, so easy. So we're gonna do a little cheeky review and test of these now onto my vehicle. As you know, the wireless receiver is the same as the old ones, which is one of their revised designs. They used to be a little bit different, but hey, they work absolutely fine, no bother. I leave mine plugged in all the time and I've not had any issues. The only issues that I have had, being very honest, sometimes the charging leads do get a bit of wear, um, but these you can buy as replacement directly from Connix or one of the manufacturer for literally about two or three pounds anyway. Um, they do charge both lights at the same time, uh, absolutely brilliant, no bother. And again, if you look after your lights and you, know, you have an inverter, you can obviously charge them up with the mains plug that is there as well. And again, the EU adapters and whatnot. And last but not least, you've obviously got the cigarette lighter. So as you know, it plugs in, da -da 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 -dum, and this should be able to tell us exactly how much light, uh, exactly how much power is left in the left and right light. Generally speaking, if they're on at the same time, they'll wear at the same time. But most importantly, what drawed me into these is just the absolute design. Like, uh, I, I have fades and I get a bit, what's the word I'm after? I get a bit bored of my equipment. I sometimes just like to change. But these lights, they, they look the part and they are very heavy duty. And if you drop those on the off chance, I think you've got a lot better chance of uh, using them again. Whereas the other lights, if you drop them, they're kind of game over. Anyway, that's that part of the trailer lights covered. It's pretty short, it's pretty sweet. Now let's get outside and plug them in and see what they look like. Hopefully you enjoy the little quick short video. If you do like what you see, like and subscribe. If you don't, thanks for watching. Hello all, so we are outside. Just gonna do a quick demonstration of the old Connix trailer lights, which are these like so, which are pretty cool pretty cool that's them really you know you've got pretty much the same range 20 meters will i get 20 meters from here to my gate let's find out 
What are those? Oh, oh, they're my, my sandals. Still working at the minute, aren't we? So, yeah, and now let's try the new ones. So, here are the Connex lights. I've had these for years. Can't really fault them, to be honest. They've worked wonders. But obviously, the leads that you charge with do sometimes often go a little bit faulty after time. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. You can buy them for like three pounds from the manufacturer. So, moving forwards, I've now got my receiver plugged in the back. These are the new lights. As you can see with this suction on the old one, they lift up quite easy. Whereas the new one, that's pretty damn solid. But if you lift up a little black toggle, hopefully you can see it, maybe. And then, voila, comes off. So that's actually pretty damn good. I really have to force it to get it off. So that's a good bonus. So let's turn them on. There should be a little on button there. And a little on button on the other side. Mm, is it pairing? Is it pairing? Maybe. Is the battery low? Uh, mm, I've not read the manual. I'm just skipping. But maybe... Maybe, baby. Maybe if I hold it, will that help it pair? Oh no, big problems. Mm, I think the battery's flat. Yeah, that one's dead. Right, let's plug it in. Okay, so just plugged them in to stick them on charge. Obviously, the one was pretty damn low, whereas the other one is, is like, yeah, maybe charging. Maybe I should go and read the, read the manual. Let's have a quick look. <sighs> okay, I'll read the manual. Okay. Manual. Are we charging? Are we not charging? Do I need to turn these on now? Shall I have to turn them on? On. And on. Ah. Right, that one is mega low. And that one is mega low. Uh, what's going on here now? Maybe if I now plug that into there. Still not really sure what's happening, guys. That one's got a little green arrow going up like it's charging. But my other light... It's thinking about it. They are charging. But clearly extremely low. So I think what I'm going to have to do tonight. Stick them on charge in the house. And we'll have to, we'll have to carry on with this tomorrow. <laughs> Sorry guys. Okay so. My old one before. Worked absolutely fine straight out of the box. Happy as Larry. The new one doesn't seem to quite like it with the battery being low, so sorry, but going to have to go back inside the house, get it charged, and we'll try again tomorrow. If you do like what you see, like and subscribe. That is the new lights fully charged. Let's go. So, having a few technical difficulties with the new Connix lights, just to show you my old one's working absolutely good as gold. Let's turn these off. Take that out put the new one in turn on the new light oh we've got one we've got two but it won't stay on for long plus oh it's flashing just that one's not on. Oh. Not even doing anything. What's going on here? Absolutely useless. Could it be a connectivity issue because of the rear tail lights on the Nissan? So to eliminate that issue, let's turn it off. Turn the hazards off. 
and we'll just leave it as a left indicator. Do I need to turn them off and on again? To reset the system? So I unplug, plug back in, on, on. Maybe, no. What's going on here? Turn it off, turn it off. Let's unplug that. Hold it for one second. Hold it for one second. Plug this back in. Okay, so we are back up and on, but for how long? Oh, no, game over. Forget it, scrap. Right, so as you know, we are having some technical difficulties with the new trailer light, so time to give the trailer tech a call where I bought them from. Press one for trailer tech, or two for auto leisure. Not good though. The twenty-one. Hello, trailer tech. Hi, morning. My name's Greg from GDB Rescue and Recovery in Stafford in the Midlands. I bought some of the new Conix trailer lights from you, and got them delivered all well and great, but they don't seem to be working very well. Right. Um, so I was just wondering if there's someone I might be able to speak to about them, if possible. Yeah, yeah, so what's the problem with them? Uh, well, basically, I've had um, the Conics trailer lights before, the old style. I've had them for years, and I've seen this new style come out, so I just wanted to upgrade. Um, yeah. So you can, I've charged them up, and you can get them to pair up, but after probably 10 seconds of them being paired up, they just all start interfering with each other um, and don't right. work, and then you have to reset the system and start again. So they just don't stay connected for, for really more than 10 seconds. Yeah. And obviously when you're towing a car behind, because it's basically I have a spec lift vehicle for recovery, and, you know, you, you, I, at the minute I can't trust the lights on the back. Yeah. So I was just wondering um, if you had any troubleshooting tips or whatnot, really. I haven't had experience with any problems with these ones, but yeah. you know, they are relatively new, so I'm not saying that they could be. Yeah. Um, what is your post code, please? It's Sierra Tango 189 yeah. Lima Lima. And also, one of the number plate lights don't seem to come on. They go on and off periodically on their own accordance as well, so. Right, okay. A little bit frustrating. I was excited to have a number. Yeah, yeah. What was your name again, sir? Uh, Gregory Berger. I only bought him a couple of days ago from you. It's a shame they're a nice looking thing, but that's as, that's yeah, as good yeah, that's as good as you get, they just look good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, right, okay. You can just leave us with this, I'm just gonna call um Connex and yeah. see if they've got any problems and then I'll give you a call back. Yeah, so like I say, you can connect them up. It did take me a while to get them paired up, it weren't as easy as the last ones. Um but like I say you can put them on, they'll work for about eight to ten seconds and they just start doing their own their own thing and you have to turn it all off and start again. But when you're you, my lights are going to be like four or five meters behind the vehicle um, on the on the tailgate, for example. So then I can't trust right now if they're going to be on or not when I'm turning left and turning right. Yeah. So yeah, that's yeah. kind of where I'm at. I don't know if I can link up my old receiver. Maybe I don't know, but I thought I'd ring up first. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, link with us. I'll have a quick chat with them and I'll come back to you. Yeah. Have you got my mobile there? Uh, so I've got a number 07967 yeah. yeah, that's it. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, right, perfect. Lovely. Right, nice to you Cheers, thanks. Cheers. Bye-bye.
So, that's where we're at, guys. Got to be honest with you, it could just be some bad luck. It could also be that the lights are not that good. At the minute, it's a thumbs down from me. Uh, my old ones, as you can see in the previous clip, work fine. No issues at all. The new ones still can't even get, obviously, all the LEDs to come on for starters. So, you know, nice design, but that's all they're good for at the minute. Um, I'm going to publish this video now. If I get an update or they send me another bunch out and it works, great. But let's just be honest. If something doesn't work straight from the off, you're not really off to a good start. And when you're relying on these lights working left and right, when you've got a disabled vehicle behind your spec lift or your recovery truck, whatever, people need to know if I'm going left or going right when I'm braking. At the minute, these can't go on the road at all. So, yeah. Hopefully you enjoy the video. If you like what you see like and subscribe if you don't like what you see thanks for watching see you on the next one and if you've got any comments feel free to drop them below and again if they do send me some more out i'll probably make another video just to show that they did an update or if not i'll put a little something in the comments or when i reply to some of you so all i can say at the minute uh conix plus lights don't buy them over now somebody say beanie hats Yo. If you go into the description below, www.gdbrescueandrecovery.co.uk forward slash shop. See you there.